Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing uh, Vax Midlane versus Pike this game. Um, I imagine it's not really that bad of a matchup. It's probably better than Zoe matchup because at least if you land ulti on him, I'm pretty sure it still grants vision, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, well, if they invade, I guess we do have fear. But, um... Playing versus Pike, the main thing you don't want to get hit by is a full combo, or when he just uses a Q charge at you, because he will hail blades you down and deal a lot of damage with just a few autos. Okay, I hit a huge thing there. I think he's dead. Oh. 6 HP? I was thinking about flashing over, but decided not to. We can just ward this just for the hell of it, I guess. Wait. Hmm. I'm not really sure what Soraka was doing there. I guess she just walked into Pike, who was not actually chunked because it's it's Pike. Uh, he has that gray health that will heal him all the way back up. So I'm gonna see if he runs this way. Maybe we can look for him. Yeah, I knew you would do that. He has no flash, so I can just kill him here now. That was a huge mistake by him. Even if he dodges it, doesn't matter. His cooldowns are really high early on, so... Pike likes to get that E on top of you to stun you, and then he would hit me three times. But I'll be completely honest, even if he hit me with that, I don't think he would have won. So that was just a... Uh, not even a mechanical error, but just a... a a gameplay? A, a decision-making error. It was just a decision-making error on his end, for sure. That the, In no world should you be going towards me when I still have Ignite. And maybe he thought I used it. There is a chance that maybe some of them pinged it, being like, Vex has no Ignite. In, in that case, yeah, I probably can't kill him, but in this case, I did, so. But just because we got one kill is... Just a tiny lead. It's probably not going to really amount to like making this laning phase any different. You can see that he's even level 3 before I am, so... We still have to do the same stuff here. Which is, be careful about... Dude, he is like... I thought he was just literally just permo roaming bot side, just staying there. Uh, I'm gonna try freezing this. I'm gonna mess up that creep by pressing my W, but that's okay. What's important is that my team does not die. The guy is literally missing so many creeps. I mean, my team doesn't want to play it basically slow, but it's whatever. You can't you can't control your teammates. I mean, I did the best I could with basically saying we win the game if you guys just don't do anything. Literally don't do anything. And we will win, but they have other ideas. So obviously all of that really sucked for us. He's gonna flash. I'm being tethered away from my lane over and over again, so I missed cannon unintentionally. And I'm not enjoying this experience, if I'm being completely honest. Damn, I almost got that guy. Well, Jax is dead. The thing is, Pike has his... Uh... I'm just going to shove this out all the way. 
So he should just go mid. The Pantheon should. So he better be going mid right now. Because this will actually crash and then reset back. And you can see I'm level 5 to level 3. This is what should have happened in bot side with no kills on either side happening. Just everybody just farms and does nothing. That's it. And we would be in a massive lead right now. So that's why I'm saying that it, like the bot side fight was so bad. Because basically Pike is sacking his lane for... It's almost a desperation play. Because in no case should roaming probably be the play instead of just having his jungler come mid and probably just help him shove in the wave so he doesn't lose so much experience because as you can see he reached four i'm gonna reach six soon that's how far ahead i am like the lane is just super difficult for him now so i'm just gonna leave because this guy's just gonna continue roaming to my team over and over again i don't know if my team can even win this fight but i'm just gonna come anyways What? That guy lived for so long, actually. Uh, his top wave is pretty decent. I'm just gonna hit some of it. Because it's actually so big that it might crash soon. Dude, I'm 1 EXP from reaching 6. I guess I'll just face check this. Okay, this guy's just trolling. Like, I'll just take a free kill, I guess. Thanks. No way, my W was not up at that exact moment. That sucks, man. Oh my gosh, he lives with 6 HP as well. Mm, I almost survived. Literally, I was spamming it, but I guess it was just too late. Um, we'll go for Everfrost this game. Everfrost is always pretty good versus a lot of these guys' picks. I guess I am going to rotate to this play. I mean, I am 6 now, so this could be a pretty big one, if I'm being completely honest. Just hit him. Nice. Wait, you can't get her? I, I did it for you. I wanted you to get the double buffs. I, I actually just did it for him. I don't mind literally sacking my life for it because double buffs is a lot. I guess I'm inting. My wave is good though. It's, it's slow pushing towards me. We'll be able to collect it. Now, once again, the issue is, will my team listen to my pings when Pike roams? Maybe when he reaches level six right now. Because if my team doesn't listen, this can turn into a really bad fight really quickly. Damn, those Soraki heals were almost enough. So am I just going to sack this just to go bot lane here? Oh, um, we can't even kill this guy, can we? Oh, never mind. They went in. Good Soraka bait by this guy. You... I don't know why she did that. I have Q coming up, but it's alright. I'm fed anyways. I was kind of gambling on if bot lane would continue pressuring there. Because, I mean, it's a pretty juicy kill. Killing both of those guys after killing my Kai'Sa. Oh, Pike's just going straight top, so I kind of want to go top as well. But this wave is just so bad. It's not bad, it was even, but as soon as I hit it, it became bad. 
And of course now, I am not going to be there in time, so my team... No, never mind, he outplayed, nice. This rock ulti probably saved his life there. That's really big. I can probably kill this in Italy if I hit her with a um, ultimate. Mm, I was waiting for her to jump on these minions, these raptors here, and I, all I have to do is just land ulti and she'd probably die. Turns out she's not there though. So I'm just going to base. Once again, we are extremely far ahead in terms of experience, and experience matters a lot, so... I'm pretty happy with how the game state is right now. Oh my god, how did I buy that? Okay, cool. I thought that I somehow left base so I couldn't refund it, but I could. Thank god. <clears throat> We're just gonna go standard, I think, build. We don't need to go Zhonya's or anything. I'm feeling kind of confident that I won't die. And if I do die, it's whatever. I'm not even worth the shutdown or anything. What the hell? I was literally about to get dove. Okay, let's say Nid not Nidalee, the Leona actually landed that on me. Would I, would I have died? Dude, okay, yeah, I got actually CC'd for the duration of me actually being dead. So yes, and it is true that I just get 100 to zeroed even with Shaco being nearby. Although if I didn't get it by the Leona stun, I might have been okay, so who knows. Fight duration and CC duration literally matching. Feels bad. Yeah, the enemy team has way more pressure than we have. Mainly because Taraka is not really a pressuring champion anyways, so... Ooh, maybe this will be a fight? Like, Kai'Sa went all the way here, it really sucks. She's spending so much time doing nothing. Oh my god, he went into it. I actually messed up my Q there, but he dashed into my fucking ability. I was hoping Nidalee would be on these so I can use the ultimate. And once again, I did not use the ultimate because, as you can see, it's on a lower cooldown. It says 95 seconds. It's not 95 seconds, is it, right? It's not. So that means that when you don't use the ultimate after killing somebody, it's on a lower cooldown by a pretty significant margin, too. It's like 15 seconds less. If I recasted the ulti, it would be full duration. So do not use your ultimate on waves. Just hold on to it. You do not need to do it. I'm, I'm actually going to stay. I was trying to see if you would be comfortable with... That's such a massive chunk for us. I'm going to get hit by the tower because... Tower aggro because of the corrupting potion, but that's okay. We just got massive chunks on that guy. Leona and Draven are maybe coming, so I'm just going to back off, because we obviously don't want to die to that. We don't have bot tower anymore, so it's very easy for them to just kind of rotate through our jungle. But, otherwise, I am pretty strong right now. We have ultimate available. I was hoping Leona would maybe go in right as I was resetting, <laughs> but she didn't. You know, they're going to fight, dude. I, I have a feeling. I'm just going to continue resetting, but not resetting. Yeah, because I, it's so obvious with where Pike is uh, positioning himself. That's That's the thing that I was looking at. Right? He was sitting on this ward, so this ward is what caused it, why wards are really effective, because you can see. If Pike is literally sitting mid around this corner, and then suddenly just goes, what does that mean? It 100% inside of, maybe inside of lower elos, like, sometimes it's more chaotic, because sometimes there's less, uh, like, 
thought about doing team plays. I would say the higher elo you go, the more team plays happen. But in this case, obviously, because we're playing inside a high elo right now, um, I know a fight's going to happen. So I'm actually not going to reset. There's a chance they even thought I did reset because I was out of vision for a long time there. But we'll just kill that guy because he phase checked. I don't like this fight, man. I'm not enjoying it. I I'm so out of mana, but he somehow outplayed them by going in rather than out, which was pretty sick. Good fear, and then I can follow up that fear. We'll just kill that Draven. His shield bow is still down from the earlier fight. That's a pretty long cooldown. I wasn't interested in joining that fight because honestly, if Leona does hit me with something, I I, I will still die I, easily. I'm not super tanky and I was pretty low on mana as well. In fact, I'm low on mana right now. If, if Pike wants to try, I, I only have enough mana only for my ultimate. We see him mid though, so we're okay. Wow, we've been part of a lot of kills this game, actually. Like, a humongous amount. Let me, let me look at everybody's KP. So there's been 20 kills, right? 6, 12, and I've been part of 15 kills out of the last 20 so far. That's pretty insane. Being part of 15 out of 20. Uh, this And then she's been part of 3, and she's been part of 11, so... Anyways, now we're strong enough that basically we 100 to 0 anyone. Maybe not through shield bow. Oh, there's it. Okay, I'm coming. Well, another fight going on. I don't know if I can even get here in time to like salvage it. We might be able to clean up after the fight, possibly. Pantheon's really strong as well, which is really nice. I'm just gonna go in, no fear, because you know we're we're really uh powerful right now. We have insane amount of AP and in magic pen, so I kind of just one tap everybody. Yeah, and also by the way, Vex is not being nerfed next patch. So I mean, if you're interested in playing something that's extremely easy to play and still has extreme power, look no further than Vex. She is really good. Okay, Jax is a really scary champion, by the way. I know that I'm really, really fed and stuff, but Jax ultimate sometimes is so deceptive with making him so tanky, and he can just 1v1 you, so I was not going to risk it. I'm, I'm not the type of player who's going to throw away my 900 gold bounty for... You're dead. Well, my team's going to die, but... I don't know. Well, that's definitely gone, so... It's alright, though. We didn't lose uh, our shutdown, thankfully, so that's really good. I'm actually going to build Cosmic Drive for the CDR. Uh, I mean, this also can go into Zhonya's, I guess, too. I just didn't have ultimate at the beginning of that fight, and also I was pretty low on mana, so it would have been hard to fight it regardless. And also, just how the fight panned out with me getting hit by Pike Hook, that like immediately pulled me out of the fight as well. Like, just so many different things happened. I don't know how everybody else lost so hard. I, wow, you actually took the blue. That's actually really surprising. That doesn't seem. I know it's okay with jungler's taking blue, but. Alright, maybe we should just do Baron. I can continue looking for a pick. Mm. 
Okay, well, Shaka went bot, so never mind about any Baron play. I guess we just have to wait for uh, my ultimate to be back up so we can do another team fight. We, we might just have to do a team fight win. Okay, everybody went bot here, and I don't know how easy it is for us to realistically do this. We can start it and see what happens, but it's it's probably not going to work. If anything, we might be leashing for them. Because I feel like our damage is not enough. But that's okay. They can start it. And then maybe we can follow up after. And if they don't do it, then that's fine too. So I'm just going to base to quickly heal up just a little tiny amount. I don't have anything to really farm or do right now, so... Like... Okay, I might try to 1v1 this guy. Once again, Jack's ultimate gives a lot of magic resist, so if I do lay my ultimate on him, I don't know if I can kill, but I can maybe try. Not having fear is also scary versus Jax. I feel like he's probably sitting in this brush. Yeah, I just hit him. You can hear the noise. Ooh, massive chunk on him there. I don't know why we're playing bot side rather than around me, but it's okay. I mean, I guess Pantheon's fed as well. Just think it's easier to play around me, but... And Pantheon can roam easier. So I'll just step up again. Now that I use my fear, it's kind of scary. I'm not going to go for the wave, it's not even worth. I'm just going to start rotating the fight that they started. Nice Draven kill. Might find Jax here. No, he based. Okay. I'm just going to use Zhonya's just to make it so he can't hit me. Wow, Shaco's really slow. Damn, what a waste of an attempted play, huh? My bad. That should have been free. I should have just never went in until he was a bit closer, because they were honestly not playing uh, too far up there. Or, like, he was still going to play up, I mean. So, like, there was probably a better opportunity to go for that play. I just went in at a bad time. Okay, somehow Kaisa survived through all of that because we have a Sorak on our team. Nice, Pantheon also killed Jax, huge. Uh, let's just go for the dragon then, I guess. I mean, we aren't on the same side of the map, but Nidalee's here, so I think they won't be able to just solo it. Because I used my Zhonya's, I'm just going to full by now. I can use this gate to get there really fast as well. Damn. What? That missed? I can't kill Leona. Damn, I literally got 100 to 0 there. Well, Shaco fought Jax and killed himself, so... He might want to lose. We'll see. Uh, the Baron's probably just for sure gone. I, I don't- oh wait, actually, wow. Why is 
Wow, they actually do it so... I thought Jax would be a better champion at doing Barons. That doesn't make any sense. And his Pantheon survives for so long. He's dead now, though. Nice, Kai'Sa was able to get one. And Pantheon got one. Okay, can we just do Baron ourselves now? That'd be pretty sick, because I have ultimate. If Lily tries to do something, we can go for her. She has no flash now. Ooh, yeah, this is a good fight. Ooh, close. Almost got her. Alright, now we do the Baron. I can stop Nidalee. I'm gonna check over here since we have vision control on the other side. Okay, well that guy almost killed himself, but... Let's kill that guy. Don't have ultimate available. Wait, that missed? I'll be honest, I'm completely fine here. Um, I'm not even going to use my ulti for this guy, there's no reason. Let's hit her with autos. Kill her. So anyways, I think the game is probably going to be ending soon. We finally got into fights that actually make sense. Uh, even if I got hit by the uh, Leona stuff there, they weren't really that synchronized with their play. So honestly, I, I probably would have been fine. Um, because I had still had Zhonya, so it's not really that scary. sell this. I'm just going to buy this. I mean, I can buy Deathcap uh, if we really need to, but I doubt it that we need it. My CS per minute is so low this game, but it doesn't even matter. It's just because it's a Clown Fiesta game and you have to, you have to adjust your play style and just follow it. her first, so I can get another ultimate. Another ultimate again. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary on uh, playing Vex mid lane. Oh, I couldn't get it off. This person's not mid plat. The guy's just obviously upset. Um, this, I, I know almost every single player here. Er, Okay, me, I don't actually don't know my team, but obviously I know Stevens, Jax, and a lot of people here are Master Tier or Grandmaster. Um, last season as well, not just this season. So, I know who Sweaty Intern is. That guy is not a Platinum player. I think he's Grandmaster. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you were impressed, if you enjoyed the macro play, drop a like on the video. We are one win from Grandmaster now, but I'm going to be streaming. So if you enjoy watching my content, head out to my stream, twitch.tv slash peekandwolf, and check out my second YouTube as well, where I will be uploading stream games, where I also pop off just as hard. So once again, 
If you guys liked it, drop a like. It helps me just reach out to new people, and I will see you guys next time.